trying to find Blair in the slot. Out of the reach of Van Weinsberg, and here comes the Dashers. That's oh. Turgeon, and he scores. Dan Turgeon scores from the far-hand side, and Danville leads one to nothing. 14-54 left to go in the first, and Turgeon hits his third goal of 2014-2015. And Danville, uh, yeah, Van Weisberg had a great opening for a shot, and all he had to do was uh, get it on his uh, on his stick, and he would add a goal, but it got past him, and uh, Danville went right up, scored, and uh, and they lead one nothing now. 45 left to go in the first period, one nothing Danville. Danny swapped off the near point, and that broke his stick. Here's Skinner going on a one-on-one. -on -one. Skinner to Blair, Blair shot and score! <laughs> it all started when Brad Denny was eliminated off the near point, giving Dustin Skinner and company a chance to move it forward. Blair was there to pick up the loose puck, and Brandon Blair in back-to-back -back games has a goal. He has his second of the year, and we're tied at one with 11.34 left to go in the first period. Down by Jared Hicks. Hicks now, TJ Constant near hand side, attacking zone. Constant drags it in and scores! <laughs> TJ Constant with his fourth goal of the year, and he gives the Demons their first lead of the night at 2 to 1. Good goal by Constant. Nice. Took it by himself. Nice shot by TJ Constant. Uh, got this crowd really going. I tell you what, he, as you can hear him in the background, but uh, that was good. That was uh, that was, could have been a shot in the arm for Dayton too. TJ Constant with his fourth. Constant slows it down, and the Demons fire it to the near point. Pelche for Hicks. Hicks sweeps it, right at Matt Anthony, he pounces on top, but TJ Constant going out with Clinton Atkinson. Right now, Atkinson, his jersey being held by Constant with his left glove. The gloves are shaken off and Constant tangles up with Clint Atkinson. Right hand blast at the helmet of Atkinson. TJ Constant's gear is off. Atkinson and Constant broke away by the linesman. And both gentlemen will serve five minutes for fighting. God give it to TJ Constant battling. So he's shaking off his equipment. Definitely a spark right in front of Matt Anthony. He jumped on top of it. And before you know it, Atkinson went out with Constant. Putting some more noise out of these fans. And that's going to be a penalty on Danville, actually. Right now, AJ Tessarero gets the words from Constantine, shake his head, and tells it to Coach Harrison. Demons going back on a power play. They're 0 for 1 from the first period. 15 20 left to go in the second, and the Demons have a 2 to 1 lead, thanks to the goal from TJ Constant, his fourth of the year. Penalty kill unit. Before today, they came in allowing seven power play goals, and now at 44 chances, almost 45. Here's Marks taking it to the house. Three to one, Demons. Brian Marks with the power play goal, and Demons fans, remember, take your ticket stubs from tonight's game to Boston's Bistro and Club for a free Boston's power play pretzel. Good goal there, Doug. That was a great goal. That, uh, 
the, you know, the Demons are really starting to put the points up on the go on the board. You know, eight last night, nine last week, and yeah, you know, this is getting to be real, real good for the Zayn Demons. Danville goes on a two on two. <laughs> yeah, it did. You weren't even with me that time. There's a shot on a goal. Brad Denny scores from the slot. It's now three to two Demons. Denny with his fourth. I was always giving Doug grief for mentioning a team that was in existence for 2012-2013. Brad Denny answers the bell in the slot and fires a pass Curtis Martineau. And the Dashers are down 3-2 to two to the Dayton Demons, 12-52 left to go in the second. Here's Atkinson towards the right. And moving forward quickly is Harrison. He'll try a shot, it bounces high over the net. Picked up by Skinner, Giuliano picks his pockets to the slot. Here's Turgeon taking his time, swinging Martinu all the way out of the net and scoring, tying the game. Justin Levac near faceoff circle, power play goal. And we're tied at three with 6.24 left in the second. Levac was getting it back. You saw Turgeon wrap his way around the far side of the net. Martinu was about ready to come out of the net, gets back in his crease, and Levac has ample time to fire in the shot, and we're tied up at three. So after Dayton scores two goals to put the lead up to three to one, Danville has answered back. Marks. Marks now through the legs. It's a card. He will not get the puck back. Here's Harrison breaking away from Marks. Harrison looking for the lead. And Andrew Harrison gives Danville the lead again at 4-3. Good skate work by Harrison as he aimed it towards the near corner of the net of Martineau. And Danville has jumped out on top by one again. 4-3, Dashers, 4-18 left in the second period. Now the Dayton Demons got to be a little more disciplined. They can't have anybody going to the box and have a power play going on for the uh, da Danville Dash. They got the lead, they got the momentum, and it's going to carry over into the uh, third period. So Dayton could be in trouble in the uh, third. Around the far corner, finding Marks. Marks now up front. Here's Hicks. Hicks with a minute third left in the second. Hicks takes it far hand side, finding Constant, back to Hicks. Hicks shot and tie game! That's what the Demons needed right there. Ties this bad boy up. They'll have the momentum going into the locker room at the end of the third period. Doug, still a little bit of time to play in the second period, however, but Jared Hicks, good feet towards him, and he gets it over Matt Anthony on the butterfly, and we're tied up at four. Minute in the third, still tied at four, but Danville on the attack, and Dustin Skinner finds Jared Hicks. Right now it's a two on two, and Skinner breaks away, one on one, shot and score! What started off as a two on two on the way for the Demons became a one on one as Dustin Skinner broke his way through the defenders, had a good snipe, pulled the trigger, and Matt Anthony was unable to knock it down. And the Demons reclaim the lead. It's five to four Dayton, 6.52 left to go in the third. All season, Skinner now six seconds off the far boards. It's Brazen. Firing back to the neutral zone. Tessarero, last second shot off the referee. Your final score, the Dayton Demons five and the Danville Dashers four. What a game, what a game. Well, that was a big win for the Dayton Demons because uh, Watertown's winning right now five to one up in uh, Berkshire. So they got to they gotta stay right with them. And uh, no score on the. I haven't heard anything from uh, Steel City yet, unless you got your uh, connections over there uh, that has a final, that has a score. 
I'll check on that, but let's go ahead and take it to a break, and then we'll present to you your three stars of the game, designed by Premier Health, proud partners of the Dayton Demons. Dayton wins five to four in regulation tonight. They improve to eight, one and one on the season, and there are the Demons acknowledging the fans. We'll take time out as you're listening to the Gem City Sports Network and watching live on FHL Live, presented to you by Point Streak. <laughs> 